Getting started with starter apps. If you want to create your own custom app without starting from scratch, starter apps are a great place to begin. They provide some basic building blocks for common data you might store in your app. Note that if you want to see what a more complete app might look like on the FileMaker platform, you may want to check out the sample apps to see what's possible. Each starter app is unique and designed to store multiple types of data. There are six starter apps to choose from. For example, the Asset Starter app is designed to store data for asset items and also lets you track other information commonly related to assets, such as vendors and employees. Another starter app, Contacts, allows you to store multiple emails, phone numbers, and addresses for each contact, making your solution flexible and scalable. Each starter app is just that, the start to your custom app. You'll have the ability to make changes to suit your needs. In this video, you'll see how to create and customize a starter app to match your business requirements. To use starter apps, begin by opening FileMaker Pro Advanced. Go to File, Create New. Here you'll see several starter apps to choose from. For this lesson, we'll use the Assets Starter App. Clicking Create will save the app on your computer. Starter apps will automatically create a few layouts for you, allowing you to see your data in different ways. From the Layout dropdown, choosing Assets shows you the layouts that were created. Notice that this starter app creates a list view and a detailed view for assets, vendors, and employees. By default, the Asset Starter app shows you the asset details layout. You'll have one record where you can start entering information about one of your assets. For this video, we've already added some assets. Once you have some data in your app, clicking on the Assets button on the left will show you a list of your assets. If you have images for some of those assets, you can drag and drop from your computer right into your app. Clicking on the blue arrow of any line will navigate you back to the asset details. From any of the layouts, you have the ability to search your data. List views are a great way to view the results of your search. Say you wanted to only see assets of a specific type. You can click Find and choose a type from the drop-down menu. In this case, you want to see all the bracelets. Clicking Perform Find will show you the results. In the toolbar, you'll see that 23 out of 200 assets are categorized as bracelets. And if you want to view your assets in the order they were purchased, you can right-click into the purchase date and choose Sort Ascending. Find mode in FileMaker is very flexible. Imagine you wanted to see assets purchased in 2018. In Find mode, Typing a four-digit year into a date field searches for the whole year. Now you'll see 70 out of 200 assets match your new search criteria. Once you've found the set you want, you can organize your data by any other fields on the layout, in this case, the type field. If you want a more visual way of seeing your data, a chart is a great way to do that. By right-clicking in the type field, you can choose to create a chart by type you'll see the number of assets in each type based on your previous find, all assets purchased in 2018. You can even save the chart as a layout in case you want to use this chart later. A new window will appear with your new layout. Note that the chart is based on your found set and how your data is sorted. Close the chart window, and using the Layout dropdown, you can navigate back to the Asset Details layout. If you click Edit Layout, you'll enter Layout Mode. This gives you the ability to customize what users will see and what data they can interact with. While starter apps provide you with a starting point, you're free to customize them as you see fit. For example, if you don't use the term Serial Number for your asset number, you can change the label. You can change it to something like Product ID, and you can change the label Used By to Borrowed By. And back in Browse Mode, your users will see Product ID and Borrowed By from now on. In many cases, you'll want to add new fields so that you can track more information about each asset. Say you want to enter the asset's condition, new or used, when it was purchased. You can quickly create a new field, called
called Purchase Condition using the Fields tab and place it on your layout. In Layout mode, you can duplicate an existing field to add your new field. In some cases, you'll have to readjust the size of your layout and move objects around. For something like the Purchase Condition, you can make it easier for your users by making the field a radio button with two choices, New and Used. Not only will users enter data more quickly, you'll get better data since users won't be allowed to type anything manually. In Browse mode, you'll see the new field on your layout. The Assets Starter app stores not only assets, but also vendors and employees. Clicking on the blue Assets arrow takes you to the Asset list, and you'll notice three options in the header, Assets, Vendors, and Employees. Click on Vendor. Once you click on any vendor, you'll see the Starter app, as is, only tracks the vendor name, the description, and a logo. Say you want to track all of the phone numbers for each vendor. While the app doesn't have a way to do that currently, you can bring in an add-on table to hold that data. This lets you track multiple things, in this case, phone numbers, that relate to one vendor. In Layout mode, from the Insert menu, you'll choose Portal. From the drop-down, you'll select New Add-on Table. Here you'll see a slew of choices that represent different types of data you might want to associate with vendors in this case. By choosing phone numbers, you'll be creating a new table in your app, and it'll be linked, or related, to vendors, because you were on a vendor layout when you added the portal. The portal will appear on the layout along with a plus button to add phone numbers. You might need to adjust its location on the layout. Once you have it where you want it, you can jump back to browse mode to see your work in action. For the current vendor, click on the plus sign and you can choose a type and a phone number. Add-on tables lets you easily add common data like this to your apps. This is just the beginning to how you can customize a starter app. In this video, you created an assets app by using a starter app then you customized your app by changing some layout objects like the field label, adding a new field, and then adding phone numbers for vendors. As you begin using starter apps, remember that they help you jumpstart your development and they're completely customizable. You'll be able to tailor them to your specific needs.